Things, 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 place, things. You, minimize. Okay. What do I have to do? I'm at 101.4% completion. What do I need to do? Defeat legendary di uh, wisp without taking damage. Save up 70% health for 25 minutes. Stay in shield mode. I think we're going to go with handy today. Because, uh, oh, wrong button. I'm trying to remember how to play. But yeah, I think we're gonna go with handy. Because, uh, I think we can do the 75% health thing fairly easily if I do it right. That's a big if. There's a crap ton of chests here. We may want to actually take advantage of that. But yeah, we're gonna be focused on healing items to just keep our health up, um... Just in general. I don't think we're going to want too much to worry about. Well, I mean, we're going to want damage. But then again, we're going to get everything. We're going to get all the items. And that is a great item right off the bat. Especially for Handy. He really likes that stuff. God, look at all these chests. Look at them. There's like hundreds. All these tier 2 chests. We're definitely going to want to spend some time on level 1. It's definitely worth it for that. The problem is there's no freaking things to fight. It's terrible. Can I get some enemies, please? There we go. Okay, what's that going to bring me up to? 26. Wonderful. Okay, now the enemies start. Okay. That is how Handy is supposed to go. He loves attack speed. Especially if I can get some knockback going. Oh, yeah. This would be a wonderful thing. Okay. So, we got some stuff. Okay. Now, we're going to get some money. And I am willing to farm a little bit on this. I'm willing to kind of make some sacrifices here to make this work. Wonderful. Okay. That's our 50. I want to get at least two of the 50 chests opened, and then we're going to hit the teleporter. Because they're my main priority here. And depending on what they get... Oh, that's nice. Okay. But yeah, we don't want to stay here too long. Because enemies will rapidly get to be a little bit more uh, than I'm willing to handle. And I don't want that. But... Okay, I think now it's going to be about the time when I'm going to start heading towards the teleporter. Because enemies are spawning at a fair clip now, which is good. This is what I want. Not to mention the boss is going to spawn, so that's going to be a thing too. Magma Worm. Pretty effectively annoying. Hermit Scarf is fantastic. Fireman's Boots. Fight Fire was Fire, which is fantastic. So I got both of the boot items, which is kind of amazing. Not sure how, how I feel about it. I mean, it's not, it's not like the best thing to ever happen, but it's a pretty good effect. I like it. I like it a lot. Go ahead and pick up this. Spike Strip sucks. It's one of the few game or few items in the game, but I just flat do not like. And I think most people are with me on that. Now we're gonna see about dying. This isn't Splunky. I don't want to die. Killed some dudes. Okay. We're doing good. We're doing all really good. We're going to have a lot of money. We're going to have a lot of items coming off of this. Some of which are actually good. We 
Okay. Kill those guys, get a bunch of money. What's this? Oh, arms race. Arms race. That is a thing right there. Arms race wins games, guys. Arms race is nuts that way. I mean, drones win games, but arms race? Arms race upgrades drones. Arms race makes level one drones, the ones that I really don't like, it makes them worth it. That, that's saying something. Making a tier one drone worth it is just, that's just nuts. Okay, so we're going to go up to the upper right. To explore real quick. I let the difficulty go up at least by one. I probably could have uh, left a little bit earlier, I, I'm thinking. Not too big of a deal, though. Another soldier syringe? Oh, wow. Holy damn, that's a good thing. Anything else? Or is that, have I cleaned this level out? Yeah, I've cleaned it out. Okay. We're going to go. We're going to hit up that chant shrine, I think, twice. I should have enough money for that. And then we're going to leave. So not a bad first floor. I took a little bit longer than I probably should have. Honestly. Okay. Crowbar's awesome. Two crowbars is better. Wonderful. I think we have milked this floor for about as much as I could really expect us to. This is a damn good floor. Okay, Sky Meadow. We had to get a really bad floor to make up for the really good floor, so we're, uh... We're getting Sky Meadow. Okay. I'm expecting Sky Meadow to be barren, because it typically is. We've got a really good kite setup going on here. I'm not sure if it's going to remain that way. But, um... Oh, damn it. No, no, I'm never mind. I'm on the right side. We've got a pretty good kite setup. This should allow us to do fairly decently in the near future because we can kind of run around if we need to. Handy doesn't really like running around. It's not his favorite thing. He really likes to sit in the fight and just melee people to death. But, um, the ability to kite if need be is always good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have him come down here, and we're gonna stun lock for great justice. Take off all the zigs. Okay. Just gonna hit those guys for something. And we'll just let them... Well, the fire's not gonna last that long, unfortunately. Okay, we're still looking for the... Ooh, ooh, is that a healing drone? That's a healing drone, isn't it? Yes, that is. Okay. Not the drone I'm looking for, unfortunately. Now I do want to hit the teleporter early. Well, not early, because this is... You know, about when I should be hitting it. Okay, that's a problem. Definitely a problem. It's cool. We're doing fairly good here. Death is definitely a possibility, though. Yeah, I'm gonna just keep on moving around. I'm gonna let my fire do the talking for the most part if I can. Which is doing it's doing a really good job of doing the talking too. We're just gonna take care of our enemies as they come. Let's, let's move up here. I got a 76 gold chest, which is great. Time or timekeeper secret is uh I'm not a big fan of it on handy, honestly, because he drops to low health so much because he, he likes to be in melee range. Uh, he likes being close up, unlike uh, uh, many other um, many other characters. So I'm not sure how I feel about him and uh, Timekeeper Secret, because it just seems like such a waste on him. Keep these guys stunlocked for a bit. Okay, we got a Rusty Blade. Which is great. Every character wants at least one. Well, until proven otherwise, I'm going to assume that every character can only get one and well, can get you can get as many as like. But I'm going to assume that characters can only use one at a time until proven otherwise, because that's basically what I've seen in my play. But um, oh, hit list really? Hit list? Are you kidding me? That this early is huge. Oh god, hit list is a that's a thing right there.
Okay. Well, that might be... Oh, in a, in a legendary spark. And a legendary freaking spark. That is amazing. That is astonishingly good. Not gonna pretend it's something that'll keep us alive, but just the extra melee damage. Or the, well, not the extra melee damage, but the extra damage while in melee is really good. And getting the um, getting the healing drone's gonna be amazing. Okay. Kill this guy for the damage. Are both all the guys up there? Is that it? Okay, there's one guy left. It's gonna be this guy. Unfortunately, I was not able to get him in time for the hit list. So, unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to get the extra bonus damage the hit list gives. But, uh, we had a decent floor. Not a lot of good treasure, unfortunately. Well, I mean, no, we got a fair amount of good treasure. That's a lie. Ooh, glasses. And backup. Okay. Now, the backup's kind of interesting. Because the backup actually works off of Arms Race. Which is awesome. So that means that I'm going to call in four level one but upgraded drones every time I hit the backup. Which, that's really nice. That's going to do great things for me. Hit the button. Move on. Ancient Valley is fantastic. We're going to see if it's the Boar Beach version. Drones for the win, dude. Drones are just freaking fantastic. It looks like we got the Unbroken Bridge, from what I can tell. So that means we're going to go to Boar Valley, uh, or Boar Beach after this. But for right now, we're going to look for the teleporter. Check it out. Drones. I have just, like, the ultimate kiter set up here. Look at this. Oh, God. And there's a laser drone. Yeah, you don't understand, man. La our drones are just nuts. They are just so, so good. Yep, more beach. Maple story. Other things I have no idea about. We're just gonna sit here and farm. Because, uh, we're, um... We have a good setup here. I wish I had more in the way of healing items. Like, that's my big wish right now, is healing items. But, uh, we're, uh... Doing pretty good. Tough Times Teddy's fantastic. That'll really be good stuff in the near future. Head Stompers, not so much. Well, I've been told I'm apparently really good at this game, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't always feel good at this game, but okay, I'm running away from that. I'm running away from the Tuffalo. Farming and Risk of... What? Are you kidding me? Farming and Risk of Rain is amazing. You just have to know when to hold them and when to fold them. Okay, apparently we got two dead men foot. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about that. You know what? I've opened up a couple of these. Let's go ahead and... Um... Let's kill the Tuffalo real quick. Hopefully he'll give me enough money. Okay, never mind. These guys will definitely give me enough money to um, open up that tier one chest. And then we're going to go ahead and pop the core. Yeah, especially as um, you know, a character like this. A character like um, uh, Handy. Farming can be ridiculous ridiculously effective because he can just sit and heal. He doesn't really care. Okay, I'm gonna hit the button real quick. Well, I'm gonna go hit this uh, chest real quick, and then we're gonna hit the button. Okay, War Banner is amazing on Handy. It's amazing on most characters, but Handy really likes it. Okay, we just let the difficulty go to hard, which is fantastic. We're gonna get more enemy spawns. Which is awesome. Now we're gonna go uh, hit the uh, teleporter. And I'm kind of hoping we're gonna get Efreet. I'm gonna be able to uh, get a uh, Efreet's whatever it is off of him. 
Let's go ahead and just hit this once. Nope. Okay. Yeah, right now, all I have to do is just walk away from enemies, and they just take a lot of damage. So that, uh, that fireman's boots are really fantastic pickup. Would you stop that? Okay, so we got an info overboard. That's cool. Okay, so we're gonna just do this the old-fashioned way. And the Overlord got poisoned by our uh, poison boot effect. He's gonna die. He's gonna drop ATG Missile Mark 1, which is already a fantastic thing. And then add it to me, and it, I just become really, really sexy. It's not as good on me as it could be on many other uh, guys, but it's really good for me. Okay, we're going to walk over in this direction. Wonderful. Monster Tooth is a healing item. We like healing items. Just going to pop that. And we're going to go and pick up this drone. Which is an amazing drone. And I'm just going to sit up here on this uh, on the bridge because there's no reason for me not to. Like right now, we are doing so good. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go downstairs after we get a little bit of money. We're going to explore the bottom. And then we're going to go to Boar Beach and farm up. And we're going to see what happens. What I could really use is more attack speed. Wonderful. Pop the cork. Okay, and there's four enemies remaining. They're all beneath me. That's cool. Doing great. Pop this guy in this direction. Force them to just stand in front of me. Okay, we're going to go first and foremost. Our first requirement, the first thing we want more than anything right now is more drones. That's our, that's our main request. So we're going to go searching for drones. If not drones, then tier 2 chests. If not tier 2 chests, then roulette chests. So on and so forth. That's our uh, that's our order of operations here. That's what we want. And then we don't want to go to the teleporter. We're going to go to uh, we're going to go to Boar Beach. Let's see if we can farm up a little bit there. Kind of wish I was playing on Monsoon, honestly. Monsoon probably would have worked a lot better. I would have gotten a lot more good stuff. Is this open or is this no? It's sealed off in this version. Okay. Um. We know there's at least one tier 2 chest up and to the left. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be getting much more in the way of uh, drones, which sucks. Because, you know, we got a really good drone set up, especially if I can get more arms races. We actually had a... Uh, me and Chance have a run, which you guys, with the Twitch stream we'll see eventually, and the YouTube uh, group has uh, already seen. Where uh, I ended up having something to the tune of, uh, I think it was... Eight arms races, nine arms races, something like that. And I was just stupid nuts powerful. It was amazing. Drones carried. You know, drones always carry, but drones carried. Okay, so I'm not seeing anything in the way of a uh, another drone, unfortunately. So we're going to go ahead and pop this tier two chest, which is going to give me a second arms race. Can't make this stuff up. Anything over here to the far left? Okay, we're gonna get this roulette shrine. And we're gonna get a happiest mask immediately. Okay. Okay, game. We're gonna go over to the right where there's another roulette shrine. We're gonna hit that up, and then we'll have 22 gold left, and then we will immediately go and uh, play with Boar, Be Boar Beach. So the game just wants me to win, is what is what's going on here. The game just wants me to just go and, you know, rip it a new one. Which, you know what? I am all for. If the game wants to just bend over and die, I can deal with it. Okay. What do we got next? And an ATG Mark III. Or Mark II. Now, ATG Mark II is not the best item on handy. It could certainly be better. But I'm not going to say no to an ATG Mark II. That's not going to happen. Okay. Off to Boar Beach. 
unfortunately, I don't have any of the really good poor beach items. Like, uh, I don't have, um, I don't have the static bastard field or anything like that. But, don't think it's gonna matter. Okay. I'm trying to set up if I want to farm here. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. Not sure if it'll be worth it. I'm gonna have to see. Okay. I mean, the real reason you go to Boar Beach is not for Boar Beach itself. You go here so you can reset level 3 and play level 3 again. At least, in my opinion. Just my opinion. No one else's. Okay. Wow, we're just wrecking everything. I think that's almost everything dead now. Is that it? Okay, that's it. Next level. But we did get the uh, we did get the undershirt, which is good. Sunken tombs this time. Okay, I like sunken tombs. Got a lot of good stuff here, so I may want to sit here for a little while. Just kind of see what we can find. So I don't want to get rid of... You know, the problem is I don't have a um, thrifty spender or anything, so I don't really have a lot of options when it comes to getting a lot of money really fast. Okay, nothing over here. Let's go ahead and smash these guys real quick. this guy. Okay, we have enough money to open this. Let's open this chest. Uh, I don't want Bouncing Brain, honestly. If we're going to be running with two different arms races, I kind of want to keep the backup as long as humanly possible. But we do know the teleporter's not to the upper left. Okay, there's another uh, damage increase for us. And a damage increase for us is a damage increase for us, our drones, um, our missiles... Got a random spawn wandering vagrant. No big deal. No acrid spawn, unfortunately. But that's cool. We're just gonna kill this vagrant real quick. For another ATG Mark I, which is excellent. And we have enough money to start popping chests, so... Okay. First aid kit is fantastic. I'm no longer worried about uh, us surviving. That's... I was I was mildly worried about surviving earlier. Now, I've got no worries. We're gonna wreck face. Okay, let's go ahead and pop this one. Oh, and a spotter scope. That was not at all what I was aiming for, actually. I was aiming for the, uh... Um... I was aiming for the rusty jetpack, but, um, I can live with this. Okay, so we're doing pretty neatly here, I believe. We are just looking for that teleporter. Insane difficulty, but we're actually so overpowered right now that I'm not concerned. Gasoline's pretty nice. Kind of pointless, but it's pretty nice. Okay, what are we going to fight? Seems like it's going to be an imp. Imp? Imp. Where are you? Impy. Imp, there he is. There's the big bitch. Okay. Want to play? Oh, you want to do a punching match. Okay. Let's box. Let's do it. Okay, apparently he got knocked off. That's cool. I'll just sit here for a while. Yeah, but it looks like this is probably going to be the run where we get the achievement. Because, uh, my health is pretty much not an issue at all. Now, this might change as we get further in. Because, you know, there could always be cremators next, uh, next floor. But, you know, I'm not feeling too worried. Oh, and another soldier syringe. 
that being my drop is just so good. It really is. I mean, Soldier Syringe in general is amazing on just about everybody. But giving it to Hand D when I'm running things like uh, ATGs is just amazing. Because that's just going to it's going to let me just keep on pounding people with... Ow, that hurt. It's going to let me keep on pounding people, and uh, more pounding means more uh, missiles, and more missiles means more ouch for everybody who I'm not currently attacking. Oh, and there goes my achievement. Okay, so we're going to have to... Unfortunately, it was this little bastard down here who cost me my... Uh, well, he didn't cost me my achievement. I can still get it. I mean, it's it's not like I can't get it. But, um, I'm not going to be able to get it quite as easily. Just pop a bunch of drones. Give me easier access. If I can keep on getting ATGs, I mean, we're... You know, the, the sky's the limit right now. Keep on jumping, that way I can stay away from most of the damage that's being fired my direction. The problem with um, Hand D and Spotter Scope is Handy likes to knock enemies back, and Spotter Scope likes to aim. So, uh, unfortunately, Handy causes enemy or causes Spotter Scope to miss, which sucks. But occasionally, it'll get a free kill, and I'm okay with free kills. Is there any further guy over here? Yep, there's a couple guys else over here. Wonderful. Looks like uh, looks like ATG hit uh, procs when you hit, not necessarily uh, otherwise. Just kind of interesting. It's something I didn't know. I thought I just procced in general. Got a dude up here. Yep. And we'll just wreck him. Get wrecked. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, do we got another... We're looking for a treasure chest because I don't feel powerful enough. I really don't. Uh, I think that we could definitely get some more stuff. Ugh, life savings is not one of the things I would have preferred. Another bouncing brain. Then again, that chest could have only given us... Uh, if it gave us anything, it was going to be a use item. So, not, uh, not something that wasn't expected. But now, smart shopper. That's good stuff. That's kind of what I was looking for earlier. Now I don't have to worry about farming the levels anymore because I can just smart shopper it up. So, that's good. Let's go ahead and pop this a couple more times. Okay, so can we, uh... Good. Kill a bunch of guys left. Got a bunch of kills. Okay, and that guy's not gonna just flat out die. I'll go get him in a second. I wanna hit up this chest, because this could have... A lot of things. Hey, Mabry, welcome back to the stream. Glad to see you again. Anything over here? Nope. Okay. Difficult to just hit impossible. <laughs> not likely. God, how is this guy not dead? What are you, bud? What are you? Is dead. That's what you are. Okay, I got nothing else in this, uh, floor I care about. Maybe a little bit of money. Maybe get a level up. We're out of here. Okay. Here come the cremators. You know what's coming. Oh, it's a hive cluster. Okay. That's a bit different. I'm okay with a hive cluster. Okay, well, we're going to look for a, qu a couple quick health shrines. Not going to spend too much time on this level because hive cluster can be a pain in the ass. There's just too many parents. But I also have really good kite ability, and the parents require you to stay, like, in one place for them to actually do much against you. So, um... Yeah, you know, this is one of those color-me-unconcerned things. We're gonna get a lot of money. So money is no longer an issue thanks to that smart shopper. I gotta remember that roulette's up there. I'm just looking for... Partly I'm looking for the, uh, shrine... Another ATG missile turret. We need, we need more turrets. We are more um, drones. We totally need more drones. And another dead man's foot. Second one we've gotten. Third one we've gotten. Sorry, we've got a lot of those things. Okay, so we're gonna explore over here. See if we can 
find ourselves a uh, something or other. Looking for something. Okay, I'm just gonna let our drones shoot at the parents as we continue to kite. And uh, we're looking for the uh, teleporter, of course. Not seen it, though. Okay, down we go. There's a Hell Shrine. Oh, that's a crappy item to pick up from that. And I'm kind of harming myself because I'm using this Hell Shrine when, I, you know, the achieve I'm going for is to last, you know, with 70% health for so long. So this is kind of hurting me. But on the other hand, if I can get to a point where I can just survive on health, you know, that's kind of what I'm looking for is um, enough healing items that I can just go and I don't have to worry about it. Well, there's that. Okay, let's get my health back. And I'm going to pop that, and we're just going to walk. And these guys can just take some damage on my uh, creep here. I got so much of it. That's cool. You guys just keep on doing that. Is there any more? I mean, the teleporter has to be down here. The question is, yep, there's a Hell Shrine. The problem is, Hell Shrines are uh, destroyed when uh, the um, teleporters hit. So that's why I'm trying to hit them now as opposed to later. Okay, Will the Wisp is fantastic. We gotta get a couple more, uh... Get a couple more drones on me before I'm gonna feel safe popping this again. I need these things to be gone. Like, these things above all else need to not exist if I'm going to do this. And I'm starting to feel that it might not be worth it anymore. I don't know. We're going to see in a second. But uh, between the parents spawning... Yeah, we're just going to head out. It's not worth it anymore. Whoa, I lost my heal drone. That's not gonna happen. There's my teleporter. Got it. Okay. Big boar. And that's all we care about right now, is we're just gonna attack, 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 attack. That's it, look at that. Look how much we cleared just that fast. Because there's not I mean, these guys, they're nothing against Andy. He doesn't care. He's got, and not to mention, like, all the items I have. Like, all the items I have are just cascading this into one gigantic clusterfuck of doom for everybody who faces me. That's what it is. That's, I mean, that's that's where we're at right now. Is we're one gigantic clusterfuck of doom. I mean, look at this. These parents can't even get close enough to attack. Because I just stand here and I just shit out damage. I don't even need to attack, really. I'm going to, but I don't need to. Just one gigantic cluster of damage. But especially if I'm standing in here, because I have so many attacks. I just wreck. I mean, I just cause enemies to just shit themselves with fear. It's wonderful. It's a wonderful feeling. I'm gonna sit here. We're gonna bounce for a couple times. Bouncing. The one downside is I don't have anything to really heal myself with. Like anything, in, like that's incredibly passive. All my heal effects require something else to happen. Okay. So there's that. We are not gonna hit the teleporter yet. Because I had that one uh, roulette shrine up here, and I'd like to hit it. As you never know, we got some good stuff out of Roulette Shrine so far. So let's go hit this real quick, and then we'll see where we're at. Okay, I can live with that. Toxic Centipede is really fantastic. Uh, it's going to give me poison damage against any enemies I touch. 
and uh, it's a really heavy poison damage too. So we're once again getting a lot of sort of kiting effects here. We're getting a lot of good stuff going that way. And on to the next level. Okay. Temple of the Elders. We're looking for uh, health shrines once again. Because the health shrines in this level are just too good to pass up. Not sure which build we're on right now. To be honest, I'm not quite sure how much I care either, because uh, all the builds are going to be easy. Okay. Well, not seeing any hell shrines inside the temple. There's that one, uh, one chest up there, which is a thing. Okay, let's go out down here. Kind of ignoring the flies for now, because they don't really concern me all that much. So I just will passively kill them. Okay, well, if they're going to give me the money. I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. Carrera Marble. Don't really want it. Not really useful for much. Well, not really useful for much that I'd want to do. Let's put it that way. It's, it's useful for a lot of things, but it's not useful for what I want to do. Not going to hit the teleporter yet. Could, but it would kill all of the health shrines. And that's what we're here for. Health shrines. Well, that's not what we're here for. We're here, we're here to kill the final boss. And I will. Eventually. Oh, good. We have a drone over there. Looks like it's a tier... It's, a, it's an assault drone. It's the tier 2 uh, drone right there. Which is fantastic. A tough times teddy is also good. And we have monies. Let's go ahead and pick that up. More drones are always going to be good, especially with uh, arms race. Arms race makes drones even better than they already were. And given that drones are pretty overpowered to begin with, I mean... They are. They are incredibly powerful. Golden Gun is an amazing uh, thing to combo off with um, uh, Thrifty Shopper, Thrifty Spender. So we already have, like, we're going to do a lot of damage here. Okay. Let me go up here. And, uh, you know, I'm going to ignore these chests for now, just because I want to see what's up top here, because it's the last place a Hell Shrine could spawn. And it didn't. So, we're going to go ahead and leave. Excellent. Charge Wheel Generator is fantastic. Stealth Bastard Field. Or, not Stealth Bastard Field, but... Um, charge Bastard Field. Stag Bastard Field. Whatever you want to call it. And we're going to be poisoning any more people. Okay, we're going to drop down now. And button has been hit. What are we getting? We got an Imp Overlord again, which, not concerned at all, this thing is melting underneath me. And Imp Overlord is dead. And we got an Infusion. That's really nice. And now I'm just going to start kiting. Because I got stuff I want to get. Go sit up here for a second. Guess I'll pick up some panic mines. Which are good pretty much no, no matter what. Panic mines allow you to do uh, drop a couple mines when you get low on health. Kind of like uh, the bloated survivor's foot over there. Except instead of being poison mines, just regular mines. Eh, not what I wanted. But, um, but it was someone else. I'll take it. Drop an even bigger armada on people. We're doing well. Notice that we haven't really dipped on health ever. Except for the times when I specifically use health for something. Or a boss gets a couple of hit offs, or hits off. Or, um, you know, we got hit a couple times when the spitters uh, shot us. But, um... Yeah, we don't really have to be concerned with too much at this point. We're we're in a really good place. Oh, 
Okay. We're doing good damage. I kind of wish we had a rusty jetpack. That is one of the few things that would make this better, I think, is a rusty jetpack. But I think, uh, I do think that would be just fine without one. And I will, of course, be going for extra laps. There's really no reason not to. Guardian's Heart's amazing. It'll shield me against any one attack, any one piece of damage, uh, up to 60, or up, or, it'll shield me against damage until, ooh, Golden Gun will have the amount of, uh, money it needs to get to max Golden Gun damage. But, uh, Guardian's Heart will shield me from damage, and it will, um, absorb up to 60 damage, and anything over 60, it'll just flat absorb that one attack until it recharges, and recharges a lot like the Halo Shields, and that you just don't take damage for a little while and it comes back. So it's a really good item, especially because it absorbs all of the damage. So it doesn't matter if, uh, anything over here, there's a level 1 chest. It doesn't matter if it was 10,000 damage, one, you know, 60 health, uh, Guardian's Heart will take care of it for you. Which is really awesome. Really like this item. It's one of the best items in my opinion. Uh, in a game with really good items where there's almost no stinkers, like the only one I can think of that I am not immediately thrilled to see is probably uh, probably Spike Strips. It's the one, because I can't think of any really good use for it. Like, it's generally not good. But, um... Eh. Let's pop that. Oh! Rapid Mitosis reduces the cost of cooldown items by I forget how much. But, uh, that is uh, with, um... Let's see. I think it's like 20%, something like that. But that makes my uh, that makes my backup all the scarier because I get to pull it in a lot more often. So I really like that item. Okay, let's go ahead and reset, go to a previous level. We're gonna see about getting some more really good items. So where's it gonna send me? Desolate Force is amazing. I am completely okay with coming to this location. We're set, we're set at the center of the map. Which, uh, you know, I could take it or leave it. You know, I'd really like to not be at the center of the map when we arrive. Difficulty just reached maximum difficulty. Well, maximum difficulty given certain requirements. Or certain, uh... There are certain rules that say I'm not necessarily at maximum difficulty, but I'm at the maximum difficulty the game actually tells me about. And, uh, I'm not entirely sure what I would be afraid of in the game right now. There's not too much that frightens me. Overloading Magma Worms, probably. So I'm hoping we don't see any of those. That would be kind of scary. Um, I don't know. Seven Magma Worms. Would be really scary. But uh, beyond that, I'm not really sure. I don't know what I'd consider to be frightening enough to cause me to be, you know, to hurry. Oh, we got two of them. Okay. I'm just gonna back up a little bit. Oh, and we got another one. Got another arms race. That is just amazing. And we finally got a goat hoof. Uh, I've actually, yeah, I've seen, um, I've seen the mercenary own that many enemies before, which was really, uh, tranced in it on a, uh, he, uh, on the run that I was talking about where I got all the arms races, Trance got just crap tons of, uh, good stuff for the Merc, and, um, he just took care of, like, we had, like, four or five overloading Magma Worms at the same time, and he took care of them with no problem. Let's walk away from that. And we'll walk away from that. I just lost a bunch of drones. I don't have enough money to pick them up, actually, which is kind of amazing. And I let my health get low, which sucks. Uh, so we're gonna need to sit a little bit longer in order to uh, achieve my achievement, which is fine. As I said, I'm not concerned right now. 
I don't like that I'm spending so much money to get drones back, however. That's kind of annoying me. I preferred if that wasn't the case. But right now we're, uh, yeah. Doing pretty amazing. Do not want the gold-plated bomb. As good as it is, and believe me, that item is pretty amazing. It'll one-shot bosses. But as good as that is, I can think of some other uses for my money. I would gladly, gladly pick that up. Let's see what we got here. Not good enough. I'll gladly pick up a crowbar. Oh, and that's awesome too. Oh god, there's more. Unfortunately, I just don't have enough money. <laughs> Another arms race. I, ah, God, I, I'm kind of curious what the drop rate is on arms races, because I'm picking up so many of them. We'll probably just kill this guy and move on, because I have no money, so there's nothing for me to do here. Oh, it's the Colossus. Okay. I forgot about him. I forgot he existed, actually. That might give me enough money to do, like, a level 2 chest or something, but it's not going to give me all that much. Which is unfortunate. But I can live with it. And I'll just sit up here in relative safety, just smacking this guy. And that's a health upgrade. Which is actually really good for me right now, honestly. Um, you know, I'm trying to decide what I want to open. If I find a tier 2 chest, I'm going to open the tier 2 chest. But if I don't, I'm probably going to go for, uh... At least one of those two, um... 811. Damn. <laughs> it's a tier 2 chest I wanted. Okay, I'm gonna go for one of those two, uh, imp shrines, because they can drop some really good items. And they're gonna cost less than even a tier 1 chest right now. Can only probably do one. I might be able to pull off two of them if, an o if the imps drop enough money, because if you actually have, um, if you have Thrifty Shopper, Thrifty Spender, uh, it actually does cause the imps to drop money. So I may be able to get them to fund a second one, but probably not much more than that. Okay, that's not bad. We'll just sit here for a second and pop that one. And we got a war banner. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to afford those, but you know what? That's absolutely fine. We're actually doing pretty decent. I'm going to want to drop this health drone after a while because it's going to cost me a lot of money to maintain, and uh, I really don't want to deal with that. But, for now, I'm happy with my drone setup. I wish I could have a couple more assault drones. Sky Meadow again. Just going to take it quick. Go as fast as we can through the Sky Meadow because this is not really a place where I want to sit. And I imagine we're going to get a couple magma worms to spawn here. Okay, so we're just going to go check up top again. Not really worried about the spawns. I'm more worried about the bosses. Because I could get some really nasty bosses. On the other hand, if I get a bunch of wandering vagrants, like that, that's going to be an easy fight. Okay, uh, where is it? Is it down here? Nope. Up here? Nope. Ooh. It's a hard decision, actually. Probably gonna go for the, uh, for the health, though. It's a parents. Don't really care about the parents. Not overly concerned about the parents. Definitely gonna get the barbed wire. Barbed wire gets really good as you upgrade it. And there's my, uh, there's my thing. There's an ancient wisp. So we're gonna go up and say hi. Second ancient wisp. Let's continue to say hi up here. My drones will continue to wreck face as they're supposed to. And a ukulele, our first one. To, cop, or to quote Trance's line, and his music was electric. Unfortunately, from this location, I'm not going to be able to really hit those guys beneath me. 
But if I'm able to maintain and just keep on killing things uh, from up here, I should be able to hold on to the Static Bastard Field, which will allow me to keep on doing damage to the enemies below me without having to worry too much about uh, losing the Static Bastard Field. But that doesn't seem to be working altogether that well, so we're going to go say hi. I want to stay right here. I want to stay in the War Banner location. Because that's going to allow me to keep my health up, and it's going to allow me to just maintain, and look how much damage I'm dealing with. Like, this is, this is stupid. We just took care of an entire group of parents with no problem. Now my parents are going to go beat up on just all these guys to the right. Like, it's, you know, this was the best place for me to sit. Let's go in here. We must be getting really good crits. Really good. But I don't think it's good enough to tell to get me to get rid of the uh, backup. Just given what the backup's doing for us right now. The backup is what starts this nonsense off right here. Other other items may finish it off, but the backup starts it. Okay, my tier 1 drone was having a little bit of healing issues. No longer, apparently. Call the backup in again, which are going to just do tremendous amounts of damage. And would you look at that? Half of these guys are already dead again. Let's go ahead and pop up here. Grab that. More health is always good. Got another... Hermit Scarf that gives me two. It's gonna give me something like uh We're not quite sure if it's if it's ten if it's fifteen or twenty percent uh dodge chance. Whatever it is, it's a good number. I will pick up my healing drone again. Because my healing drones allow me to do a lot of cool things. Uh there was nothing to the left, was there? Was there? I mean it doesn't really matter. Time is, you know. Time doesn't matter anymore. At all. Ah, oh, that's right. There's this one lone chest. Which contains a mortar tube. Okay. That's, um, that's not bad. I like mortar tubes. I like them a lot. Um, I, and on hand, D, they're really good because he's in melee range 90% of the time anyways. So, it's a good drop. I'm gonna want to go and mess with that, uh, teleportation beacon. Not teleportation beacon. The, um, random chant shrine a couple more times. So on the off chance I can get it to pay out again with something nice. Here we go. It's expensive now. Nope. Nope. Last time. And it gives me another first aid kit. So every time we get hit, we're going to heal for 20 HP instead of 10. It's not amazing. It really isn't. Okay, Ancient Valley, and we have the Broken Bridge, so there will be no more beach for us. Don't really want that. Okay, let's go explore to the left and see what we can find. Ancient uh, this this level can be scary now, because Tuffalo are a thing, and they're a scary thing at that. Uh, it's not something I'm looking forward to. Just want to try something. Yeah, the bush isn't even here. Okay. Now, Tuffalo are very frightening, uh, especially now. And, um, we kind of want to hit that teleporter on this map kind of as fast as we can. It's not really worth it to stick around. There it is. Now, we could fight the boss here. It's going to be Ifri, which means he's going to be up top. The question is, is he up top left or is he up top right? We're going to go find out. So we're going to fight him first, and then we're going to go deal with all of his cronies. See if we can get our shield to come back so I can go fight the master himself. I mean, not the master, because, you know, Providence is the master, but. Okay, let's go up. E Freedom coming for you. Is he up here? Maybe. You seen this area?
Nope, he's not on this side. Okay. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna see about getting rid of as many of these guys as possible. Notice how many missiles I have in the air. Like, this is... This is what having arms race and a ton of drones does. Your missiles just fill the sky, and you generally scare people. Could lose a drone. I'd like to avoid it. So I'm trying to stay as far ahead of these guys as possible. And just let my drones do the work. Because the more uh, kills they get, the better my life is. Okay, that's everybody up here. Let's go down here. Take out these guys. Getting some cascading going on here. So I get a kill. Then goes uh, Will the Wisp gets a kill. And then we kind of cascade from there. And then, of course, my drones are just wrecking shop right now. It took a ton of damage, roughly off a of tough low, which killed several of my drones. But we're doing pretty darn decently here, if I do say so myself. Lost another drone. They're becoming ex really expensive to keep up, actually. I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to be able to hold on to these drones, so i got to make sure I'm not losing them at this rate. I mean, we're losing them at a pretty fantastic rate right now. I've had to repair, like, four of them in the past minute and a half. And that's you just can't maintain that. That's just too many drones to take out. Or to take care of. At that point, you might as well wait for the next set of drones and go from there. Which, I'm hoping there's going to be next set of drones. I'm hoping we're going to get some drones on this uh, floor. Because the more drones we have, uh, the better off we're going to be. Okay, so we've got Ifrit left. We have to go get to him. So he's in the far upper right-hand corner, which... Oh, never mind. He's right here. I forgot he could spawn here. Goodbye, Ifrit. He gives me some prison shackles and quite a lot of money. Okay, so we're going to go exploring. See what we can find. Because, uh, hopefully we're going to get a lot of items. Hopefully. Well, a drone is good. I am very willing to pay 11k for an upgraded assault drone. I'm flat willing to pay 11k for an assault drone in general. So, so an upgraded one uh, is generally really good. So our drone armada continues... And the only problem is that I'm not, um, I would be a lot happier if I was the Huntress right now, because this is a really is a kitey build, and uh, Handy doesn't really like kiting all that much. He kind of likes being up front, up close, personal, being the crap out of things. Gonna grab that. Grab another laser drone. Which is good. So that's two drones gained on this level. That is tempting enough to make me want to do it. Good. Rusty Jetpack is going to give me an increased jump distance. It's also going to help me stop from taking uh, fall damage ever again. Which is awesome. Eh, Fire Shield is okay. It's not good. It's not bad. It's okay. Continue climbing. Oh, that's tempting. Okay. What I want to do is I want to climb all the way to the top and just see if there's any more drones. If there are not, we're going after that roulette shrine. And any tier 2... Uh, chest there may be, like that one. But I want to... Oh, God, there's two roulette shrines. Okay, we're going after the roulette shrines then. But we need to... What I'm looking for is uh, drones. That's what I'm looking for. Because there's a chance that more could have spawned. And... If more spawned, I want them. It's not even a question for me. I want as many drones as I can get. No. Okay. So with that out of the way, we're going to go for the roulette shrines, and hopefully I can get a couple more really good items out of them. Uh, things I'd like to see are going to be, uh, Ancient Scepter, of course, is going to be huge. I like my hammer huge, too. Damn. Okay, you know what? Soldier Syringe is okay. It's not as good as the item I was going for. It's not as good as the, um... I'm going to make this jump. Pick this up. Hey, I was just talking of an Ancient Scepter, wasn't I? Okay, am I going to wait for 300, or am I just going to... No. Nope. Not going to wait. So that'd be a long wait, and I'm not interested. So instead, we're going to go ahead and pop this. Get some more fuzzy dice. More snake eyes. 
How much do I need to hit these? 351? Nope. Okay. We're gone. Ancient Scepter, ahoy! God, that's so good. Okay, so we're doing really, really well here. I'm kinda curious, how fast do I attack otherwise? That is really nice. I wish we could perpetuate it, but it doesn't quite work that way. But uh, that is a lot of damage right there. We got a lot of DPS right now, just based off of Handy's basic attacks. And if you add in the fact that he has his hammer, and add in the fact of how hit hard and how fast his hammer hits, his hammer hits really fast now, compared to its, I mean, compared to its base damage. Uh, Magma Barracks? No, Hive Cluster again. Uh, that is actually really good news. So, once again, we're not dealing with Cremator. That's just luck sacking it, is all that is. Because Handy has a couple issues with the Cremator. Okay, there's nothing over here. Good, I don't have to be over here then. If I don't have to deal with those guys, I'm not going to. That's just not going to happen. God, look at this. Look how fast our guys kill. Of course, I don't... Well, I'm going to go kill that thing because if I do, I might be able to open that chest. What I need to get is I need to get better... Um, better stun lock, so I need, do I, I have, I, okay, I never mind, I do have a, I couldn't remember if I had concussion grenade or not. Another wisp in the jar means more damage off of them, which is a great effect. And we're going to go check on the right hand side where the bloated survivor spawns. See if, I mean, he's here, doesn't mean much. Pop him just for funsies. And then leave. Okay, so we're gonna ignore health shrines now, because we don't really need them. I say as a health shrine pops. Yeah, we don't really need health shrines. What we need right now is standard shrines that'll give us really good items that will make my life a lot happier. My life's already pretty happy. I'm this is this is a really good run already. But I could, I would love to see a couple more items. Not sure off top, what off the top of my head. My brain doesn't work that way. Could you stop chasing me? It's not going to end well for you. Because this is what it's like with four arms races. But remember, if I can get more, not only do I want them, I definitely want them. But if I get more, Toxic Beast is probably going to be up here. Yep. I want as many arm as I can get because it's just an extra 10% um, chance to fire with every single one, I think. So if I get 10 of them... Oh, Skull Ring. Wicked Ring. That should mean I can basically... Well, it's gonna... We, we gotta get more crit chance what we gotta get. <laughs> but God, Wicked Ring is so good. That's one of those items I wanted. Definitely one of those items I wanted. I'm just gonna go to the center real quick, see if there's any decent item spawning things here. Nope. And there's that. Which, believe me, is really tempting. So if I get the captain's brogue, which is that wheel up there, it will actually allow me to summon a chest. Now, keep in mind, it's only a standard level chest. It's only a tier 1 chest. But tier 1 chest can drop tier 3 loot. So that's definitely a thing. And I keep on hitting that shrine, hoping it'll pay out. But so far, nada. There we go. Snake Eyes is... Meh. It's not good. It's not bad. The problem is, that at a certain point, you just you don't have any more shrines. I mean, there's once once you get to the final level, there's no more shrines there, and the uh, random chance only applies to the level you're on. It doesn't carry over, as far as I'm aware. So, you know, you can get all of the uh, random, uh, you know, fuzzy dice you want, but they don't help you in the end. Very few things do, actually. Just maintaining our health is the uh, big question now. But I think we have a setup now that I could, uh, with decent luck, and if I don't decide to do health shrines, 
we can hopefully um, do things, get our achievement. We're gonna see. Still don't know I, exactly what the uh, what the ancient scepter does for Handy's ult. I know it increases his damage. Supposedly, does not increase his range. Or does not increase the range on the ult. Okay, we're looking for... Wasn't there another something or other over here? Okay, so we're looking for the other enemies. Which are apparently up. Which is good to know. 13,000 gold and nothing to spend it on. Even a gold chest at this point would only be maybe eight or nine hundred. Now, wasn't there a roulette, sh a roulette shrine up here? Maybe? Was it the last run, maybe? Possibly. Okie dokie. There was that guy. There's one enemy remaining. I got no idea where he is. Up and to the left. Okay. Fly, my minions! Show me where he is. Crap. Oh, never mind. That'll work. Make my life a lot easier. Okay. Well, I really wish... It's going to be really tempting to use the uh, health shrines in the next level if I can find them. So, I don't know. I mean, the question is, do I want the achievement more or do I want a better, stronger, faster run? And I just don't know. I mean, it's... A good question either way. Guess depends on what I'm gonna find first. My uh, the Hell Shrine or No, you know, I've done really well to keep my health up over the past, you know, while. I should probably do this right and not use the Hell Shrine that's right there. God damn it. We didn't have any Hell Shrines the first time through. So the fact that the game gives me one now, when, you know, it's inadvisable for me to pick them up, is terrible. Pretty much inexcusable, really. The game is taunting me. That's cool. I don't know if that was over 70% just now, I'm hoping not. One of my drones taking a lot of damage. Also drone. Luckily it was one of the cheap, easy ones to pick up. That one's not so cheap. Okay, I need to get out of here because this is not helping me in the slightest. We need to go. We need to get out of here. Hopefully I the problem is I don't know where 70% is on my on my health bar. So I have I never know if I've lost it already. Which is obnoxious. Okay, so there's the uh, teleporter. So I'm just gonna hit it so I can stop being tempted. You have no idea how much it hurt to do that, by the way. Like, it physically hurt me to hit that. And we feel, like, nauseous. Giving up on f basically three items. No items over here, unfortunately. I'm just gonna keep moving. Up and over. Another golden gun should have my uh, requirement for golden gun again. So I should only need like 1500 gold to max it out. Which doesn't appear to be the case. So, I don't know what I'll tell you. Looks like I need 4,000. Kind of curious if they changed that or what. But, oh well. Let's get away a little bit so my drones can do their work. Got another tier 2 chest. And tier 1 chest. Call in some backup. Kill these guys a little bit faster. Lost my Healy drone. 
kind of upset about that. I need to get it back, but it costs so freaking much. Muscling Fungus is amazing. Unfortunately, it does not prevent 50% from being 50%. That's what the uh, uh, shrine would ask for. Got a lot of defense. Defense is great. Well, boxing gloves are really good. I will tell you what. Okay. I'm trying to decide if I want to end it now or if I want to go for round three. It's a very good question. I mean, we're really powerful right now. The round three would just be an exercise of exactly how far can I go around. It would also, however, allow me to spend more time in order to get my achievement. Whereas, you know, not doing that. Hmm. I'm not sure. I know one thing, though. I want that back. Problem is, I don't have enough drones. I want more drones. I do. I want more drones. That's a thing that I want. Mm. I don't know. I think most of the enemies should be over here with me. And hammer time. Wonderful. And up we go, and hammer time. We'll just keep jumping. Let our health continue to hopefully stay up. God damn. I don't know. I don't know if we lost it. It feels like we might have lost it just now. The thing is, if we lost it, I don't really want to continue, you know? That's the annoying thing. If we lost it, I don't really want to continue fighting it because we're already at 68 minutes. Another 25 minutes is 93 minutes. It's a long time. It's an hour and a half. Um, nah, I think we're going to go in this one and we'll have a victory on our hands. It's very seldom that I actually do victories. So we'll go ahead and do it. We'll finish. It'll be fine. It's been, it's going to be... It's going to be an hour and a half long run by the time we finish the contact light. So that's cool. Let's see, what level am I? I'm on floor three, I believe, of the contact light. Seems like. Okay. Hey, look, it's handy. Handy to unlock handy. That's funny. And a boss spawns immediately, and a boss dies pretty much immediately. Ooh, and a plasma chain. That's really good. I'm so amused that we technically did the unlock for Handy with Handy. I just find that funny for some reason. Okay, well that's opened. Let's go ahead and hit this. I don't know if that'll... I mean, Heaven Cracker is a really good item. I don't know how re, how insanely good it is on Handy, but... I mean, Handy is really good to begin with. I'm not going to say he's the best character, because he plainly isn't. I mean, characters like the Huntress exist. But Handy, if you can get him built, he just gets, he just gets frightened. He just kind of sits there and goes, No, you're not doing anything ever. I guess we get this for as much good as it's gonna do. Uh, yeah, that's exactly right. Handy 2.0. Why didn't I think of that? Uh, let's, no, I can't have that. Okay, hold on. You're gonna die, clown.
Okay. And now we go back up. Money, 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 money. Money. Money, 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 money. I'm almost sad that I did not go for another round. Almost. Another skull ring. It's amazing. Any critical hit I get reduces all of my cooldowns for like two seconds. Which, my cooldowns are already obscenely low. Because I'm handy. I mean. This scavenger doesn't know what hit him. And gives me an absolute crap worthless item. But, you know, that's fine. I just paid good money to get a crap and worthless item. But I knew it was going to be crap and worthless the second I picked it up. Yeah, that item's actually pretty good. But, nope, not interested. Let's go pick this up one down here. Mortar tube. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so we're just gonna go upstairs. Just jump away from here. Yeah, I know the Merc's better than Handy. I'm not gonna pretend Handy's better than the Merc. Handy's not better than the Merc, he's not better than the Huntress. But he is really just kind of obscenely good, especially if you get him built right. Because all he needs is to hit his, uh, what is that, his E? All he needs to do is hit his E, and then he just becomes terrifying. He just marches in and just goes, you will never move again. And that's, like, not a lot of characters can, can maintain the same. They can't go, I can lock this guy down indefinitely, like Candy can. He just, he just sits there and locks people down. The stun on that is just absolutely just outrageous. It's like diamond. But then when you have someone like this, when you have, you know, the sheer... Oh, let's kill this thing. When you have the bot spam potential that we got right now, like, my bots are doing the majority of the work. I'm punching guys, yeah, but my bots are just kind of sitting there going, well, you do that, we're we're gonna just kill them for you. You don't even have to lift a finger, don't worry, we got this. My bots are being nuts right now. And they always are. I mean, listen, now that, now that I have arms race, bots are, like, the big thing. They always were. I always love bots. I always love bots, but... You know, having uh, having drones now is so much better now that draw arms race is unlocked. Oh, come on, let me get there. Let me get it. Oh, come on. Do not let my health go down. I can get that. You know, Handy does. He has the smash. That's what he does. He he pulls out a hammer and he just smashes things. I don't know what ha that hammer has to do with being a janitor, but you know. Andy, if you want to kill things like that, all the power to you. Nobody's going to stop you. Ain't nobody can stop you. Ain't no way, ain't no how. I'm having a really hard time hitting that. Oh well, we're going to give up on that one. And instead, we're going to go exploring. We're doing, uh, we're doing all right here. Now, surprisingly, we have not found any purple key cards, and I don't like that. I do not like not finding purple key cards. We want purple key cards. Look, look at how much damage we're doing. Just look at this. It's nuts. It really is. The sheer amount of, you know, nope that we are pulling off here. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, we're just gonna keep on walking then. If I can't get that turret, if I can't get that uh, ch that chest up there, if I can't get that roulette, it's kind of no point in me being in this area. Kind of pointless. I'm just gonna start walking. Okay, so we're gonna want to go down one and then two levels. 
Oh no, I want to go down to this level. This one, right here. So I can go get that golden chest. Hello! Kill that Imp Overlord. Mostly because I can. Not because I need to. He poses a threat. But because, ha 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 ha. That's my reason. That is my reasoning, and I'm sticking to it. Ha 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 ha. I think technically, if you get handy to this point with two Skull Rings, he should be able to potentially keep up his buff pretty much indefinitely. Unless it's immune to Skull Ring, which it very well might be. Because I've noticed it hasn't actually, uh... Doesn't seem to like resetting much. So just watch. Smack the hammer. Oh, that's what it is. It can, but uh, it can get reset, but it won't reset until it's completely spent. Which, eh, I mean, I understand why, but man, you're taking away all the fun out of it. Let me cascade into my own attack speed steroid. Come on. Be cool that way. Okay, so we're gonna go drop, we're gonna go pick up that tier three. Hopefully it's something nice. Where are all my bosses? Well, no, it's not that. It's that my, uh, my, my attack speed steroid, my, uh, my E, does, will not, its cooldown will not lower if its effect is still active. That's what I just found out. Knows how it's still at 7, still at 7, still at 7. So you can't lower the cooldown on that. Ooh, ooh. But Alien Head, now that lowers cooldowns. Oh, that's kind of sexy. All cooldowns lowered by one second. That is really sexy. That allows me to do a lot more things. That allows me to just be stupid. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm stupid now. I get to do really stupid things. Did I have, have I already gone in here? No. There's a chest open. Chest two open. Or two. Fantastic. Let's go explore. Show me more chests. Show me more loot. That's all I care about. Don't care about beating the boss. Don't care. I just I want loot. Loot, loot, loot. Oh, I found that secret passage a long time ago. For the first or second time we came to the contact light, I found the secret passage. It's not that hard to find. Smash. Anything over here? No? Okay. Yeah, the secret passage does not take that uh, that much to find. And all the missiles. It's not as many missiles as we've seen before, but all the missiles. Ooh, more crit hit. More crit. I have, what, four of those? Three of those. Okay. We have missiles coming out the wazoo. Okay. So we're walking here. And we still... Okay, there's a... There's a uh, purple card. That's good. Got one there. What do I want? Um... You know what? I want... I want a lollipop. Give me a lollipop. Lollipop, lollipop, oh lolly 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 lollipop, lollipop, oh lolly 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 lollipop. Boom, boom, boom. Cubic artifact, huh? Okay. No. Apparently that's a thing. I never heard of it before. I don't know what you're talking about. Have my food. go figure out, but unfortunately we're uh, we're basically done with this run. Like it's all it's all over but the credits thing. I mean we're we're gonna win. There's no there's no doubt about it. We're going to win this run. It's not a big deal or anything. Get my health back up there. Yeah, I got no... Oh, are you talking about, uh... Are you talking about the artifact on top of the ship? Is that what you're talking about? Because I know that currently does nothing. As do half the altars. 
that are uh, altars, A A L T A R, that are around the map. They can find on various levels. I, I imagine that's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. Thud. This is where Handy starts having trouble because he just. He can't get his bots fast enough. So, you know, he's a brawler. Okay, well, I got no idea what you're talking about. I know a lot about this game, but I've never heard of a cubic artifact. Nothing I've read has mentioned a cubic artifact either. Well, okay. I mean, I'll... I'm sure I'll eventually find it. Or something like it. It'll be there eventually. Cubic artifact. Yep, haven't a clue. Feel free to enlighten me, though. What's in here? Crowbar! How many of those do I have? Six. I do a crap ton of damage. Ooh, and it's a drone! It's a drone! We now have more drones! Makes this even more terrifying. As if we weren't terrifying enough already. Now we have even more drones. Pop that open. Pop that open. Pop that open. Go to makes it even faster. Not that you can see it at 39 frames per second, but let's go ahead and just dodge all that nonsense. And we're gonna go down here. And we're gonna pick up whatever's in there. Another spike strip, because I totally need more of those. I'm gonna spend 8,000 to pick up that drone because I can. Any character can have good mobility as long as you stack a ton of uh, goat hoofs and uh, rusty jetpacks. Any character. Okay, I got another sprouting egg. And if you want really good mobility, you need a, uh... You need the mercenary. Mercenary is the best mobility. Best mobility ever. What's in here? Rusty jetpack. Wonderful. Jump. Jump better. What's in here? Knockout gloves. Knockout better. Over here. Okay, when I say the mercenary is the best ability, the mercenary can flat out fly. The miner can't. The mercenary actually has the ability to just fly indefinitely if you get his cooldowns low enough. Open first, and second, third, fourth. I'll take that. Oh, there's another one. Look at that. Oh, we have to kill the other. Okay, that's cool. Oh, it's on the plasma chain. Neato torpedo. We got a plasma chain here. Just smash. Hulk smash. Uh, the uh, mercenary doesn't care if there's anything to kill. If his cooldowns are fat are low enough, he'll he uses his uh, spin jump and he just keeps jumping. I said cooldowns. I said nothing about uh. I said nothing about um. Reset. I said cooldowns. This is something else that me and Trance did. He actually flew off the map at one point with nothing to kill. It's a it's a thing. It can happen. Actually, quite frightening. I say as I lead a group of enemies, smash all of them. 
Like, if you think this is impressive, like, Trance is nuts. That run was just stupid powerful for him. Now let's just go pick up that up. And that. And that. And that. Damn. Yeah, I, I really want this drone back. Spike. Uh, not really. What you need is, uh, about six rusty jetpacks and an alien head or two. And that's it. What you need to do is you need to, uh... All you need is enough rusty jetpack to allow your, um... To allow your spin jump to refresh before you hit the ground. As long as your spin jump refreshes before you hit the ground, you can do it. And the more rusty jetpacks you have, the better it is. You don't really need that much. You just have to get really lucky. And then all of a sudden, this becomes possible. It's really funny what happens, too. Yeah. It, so it doesn't really require all that much. Like, it's it's not... It doesn't require you to hit any enemies. You just... You're using the upward thrust of the rusty jetpack to your advantage. Which works remarkably well, is the thing. Okay, oh, we just lost the achievement, unfortunately. Too many Elder Lemurians. Oh, well. Let me get this, uh... Right there. We lost another drone. <laughs> 13,000 to get that drone back up. Not sure if I'm willing, to be honest. There's a lot of money spent on a single drone. Then again, <laughs> hey, it's a drone. Drones are good. Drones are always good. Pop that. Yeah, pop that. Both terrible items. Now let's see. I get thirteen thousand to pick that drone back up. That's the question. That is the question at hand. On the first level? That I'm kinda curious about. You can't go back and get it like you can go back to the first level, I mean. Unless it has to be done on the first level the first time through. In which case, I'm kind of curious. And I mean, technically it's possible. Technically. I don't know. I really want to get another couple of, uh, another couple of purple, you know, key cards so I can go explore the other two holds. But it doesn't think it's going to be possible. These bastards are not letting them loose. As I said, we're not getting any cheating this time. It's not going to happen, unfortunately. But, but, but. Okay. Well, we're going to leave. I don't believe I have any more purple key cards unless I picked one up and I missed it. Which I can go check. Hey, look, it's a uh, guy. Like I said, I'm just so powerful. Look at this. This is just stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. I don't have a key card. That sucks. Okay. Well, we're gonna go beat the boss. It also depends on which first level, because technically there's two of them. And two second levels for that matter. Oh, that's right, I have to get that drone back. I, I can't leave without that drone. We don't leave a man behind. That's not what we do. Let me go do that. And all you have to do is look at what my drones are doing. They're just they're just doing so much damage. So much damage.
My drones truly do not give any shits. They just, they just missiles and damage everywhere, and unfortunately I do not have ten arms races, because if I did, they would never, ever, 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 ever stop. Doesn't really matter, though. Unfortunately, the problem with Providence is he has that stupid shield move of, that's stupid. So it doesn't matter how many drones I have or how many of things that I get. Providence doesn't care. He just he just shields through all of it. Come here, Providence. Okay, Providence just person. Okay, we're just gonna summon some more drones and we're just gonna kite him. Because I can. So the problem with Providence is that he is immune to um, sun effects. Oh, there was one of my drones. We're just gonna continue kiting. There's no point. There's no point like going up close to him. And he does not do well against Providence. It's just kind of a thing he doesn't. Oh goddamn! I lost one of my really good drones. Well, that's a problem with Providence. He doesn't like to screw himself, he likes to screw you. The problem is, I was not able to get, um... I was not able to get the med bay, so I can't actually heal my drones. Money bags. Get drones back that way. But I needed the drone repair kit. Over here. Okay, I don't have the money to repair it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, drone friend. Look at the province's health just drop. He may as well have no health. Here come the gilded worms, but you know. Ask me how much I care. I don't. Gilded worms are gonna die just extraordinarily quickly. Watch their health just drop. Like rocks. Which have so many effects, they're just wrecking them. I haven't even been attacking. I mean, whoa. That's something you need to know. I have not been attacking at all. I'm letting the drones do all the work. There goes one of them. One of the Gilded Worms just died. The dangerous one, too. This one's not all that dangerous. Okay. What's gonna happen is... Robin's will come out and have his two drones with him. I've already used the red chest. Robin's will have his two drones with him. We'll kill those. We'll give us a bunch of, uh money. We can use that to save that drone over there. Which I think is actually why they're... Damn it. Why they're here. And I just... Ah, damn. Continue to kite. God damn, I keep on getting some drones back and I lose another. Gonna be obnoxious. But the healing drone is the one that costs so much, so I'm not worried about that one. Oh, I'm gonna lose a drone. Yep, that red chest is used. It's okay. Drones repair one uh one percent HP per second. Two places at once, it's not fair. 
That's not cool, Providence. No one said you could do that. Oh, hey, look, it respawned. Come over here. Providence, just stay over there, please. Got Healy Fruits. Helps me, does not help my drones. Okay, it's okay. Providence is about to die. I can probably punch him to death at this point. Yep. Sorry, Providence. And that's it. We have won. As usual. But not as usual, because I die all the time. Okay, guys. Well, that's going to be it for me today for the night. I do appreciate you guys joining. It's been a lot of fun. There will be plenty more Spelunky in the future. I'm not so sure about Massive Quest for Epic Loot or uh, Quantum um, Quantum Rush. Because those two didn't work all that well. Maybe Quantum Rush if I can actually fight anybody. But that will be something for another time. Let's go look at our end of game stats. No record set. It's a shame. Okay, guys. I'll see you next time.